Do you want something like this to happen on a curve? Um, for this, uh, you would have to use the array along curve on Rhino. So let's see how it is done. Select the object and type in array curve and then select the path. And you will get a dialog box which asks you the number of items or the distance between the items. So if you know how many of these objects you want on the curve, you could just type in that. And if you're not really sure and you just know the distance between them, you could type that and click on array. So yeah, that is how it is done. Now in case you've tried to do the same thing in the same order, but it's kind of not working for you and it's like exploding here and there, you know, the, the object is going in some other direction, just comment and I would try to help you out. So yeah, thanks for watching.